Okay, Moog MG1 for sale on eBay. Uh, all keys work. Okay, so that was oscillator one on square wave at two, so. There's a sawtooth. Okay, turn on oscillator two. And we'll put them on sawtooth. Put them on pulse wave. Okay, uh, we can do the LFO modulation of the tone source pitch. Okay, and we can do the, we put the filter closed, we can put a little resonance on it and crank up the LFO modulation of the filter. Watch out. Okay, if we do square wave. And if we do random on there, we can watch that too. Okay. So basically, we'll leave the filter wide open. And the thing that I added that's probably notable here is the sync sweep. This is a function that's available on the Rogue, and what it does is it takes the contour, the rise and the fall time, basically the envelope generator, and routes it as a source to the um, source of pitch uh, CV to Tone Source 2. So if you just do Tone Source 2, he's on right now, and we turn Sync Sweep on, what we'll get is we'll get the envelope routed to the pitch here. So let's do that. Let's take a look. So that's really nice. But the interesting thing is it changes the timbre and you do a thing called a sync sweep. So if you sync the two oscillators and then you run this like this, basically you get a really, really uh, rich sound. Kind of like a distorted guitar. So this is a classic riff. You can add tone source one for a little more beef. And then, if you, of course, if you turn the uh, sync off between the two oscillators, what you get is the pitch swoops from sync one again. So that can be kind of fun. And everything else pretty much works. The polyphony works. You can see the modulation works. Turn the sync sweep off. And of course you can just noise, noise, it's got a random modulation on it so that's fine. So everything works and uh, it's going to be on eBay, thanks.